Hey YouTube, this is Bushwookie. Um, today I'm going to show you the mod tool that I use and a little bit about how to use it. Um, it's called, oh crap, that was Borderlands. It's called Border Tool 2. Uh, let me X out of this really quick. Alright, it's called Border Tool 2. Um, it's pretty awesome, but it's not updated to uh, be able to, it's not compatible with all the DLC weapons. So don't try to add DLC weapons with it. Um, if it ever gets updated, I'll make another video and I'll show you how to use it. But most of uh, your game saves, unless you have another mod tool, you just double click them and it should open them with Border Tool 2. Uh, the profile is a different story. It'll try to open it with this. I don't even know what that is. It just seems, for me, it just makes another copy of the profile and names it something different. Uh, so you'll have to right-click it, go to Open With, and then Border Tool 2. Um, so here is your page that will show you for like a certain game save. You can change your level to whatever. Um, if you make it above 61, then you won't be able to use level 61 weapons, or you'll be able to use up to level 61 weapons, but you can't use anything above 61. Um, but I could make this character level whatever that is, or just 62. You can make him whatever. Um, you can give yourself any amount of money or iridium or seraph. Uh, if you have, if on iridium you were to put 999, it, once you load that into the game, it'll say 500, uh, and you'll have 500, but once you come back out to here, it'll still say 999. Um, the ammunition is different. You can go above the six, and it'll make that above six in game so this is pretty much infinite ammo that's pretty easy to do don't make it too high though because uh, if you make it too high then it'll mess up and it'll think that you have negative ammo and it'll just you you will never be able to shoot with that class until what what is this no finish Okay, anyways, um, so if you go above 99 million, you basically won't be able to shoot with that game save until you lower it here. So uh, do the maximum amount of gold for your ammo. Um, if you put 999999999 on backpack and bank, it doesn't do it. It just goes up to 7. That doesn't make any difference. Um, skills, you can upgrade them all to level 5, uh, they'll all say level 5 in here, but once you go back into the game, anything that can't go above 5, anything that you can just upgrade to 1, it'll be at 1. Um, stats doesn't really matter, that's just a bunch of random stuff that doesn't do anything, it has nothing to do with badass tokens. I thought that's what that was at first, but it's not. Weapons and items are interesting. I'll show you how to do one weapon. Let's see, if we want a rapid infinity, then we would go to uh, Vladoff Pistol, and then under Balance, here's the Veritas and Infinity, so you would click Infinity, Vladoff. Doesn't really matter what you click on these, it'll make it something that is valid once you get into the game. The site, you can go with any one. I like Maliwan uh, just because it looks cool. Um, you can do whatever elementals. Um, accessory, you can usually only get one accessory on a weapon. I usually like fire rate on the rapid infinity, but I pretty much put damage on everything else and then that. Um, don't leave any of these blank it'll mess it up, uh, especially not material, it'll just appear as this gray gun-shaped mass in your hand. That's kinda weird. Items, uh, it's a little bit hard to find what you're looking for with items. You, let's say you want 
the B shield. Got to scroll way up here. Um, let's see. The B, I believe, is Impact 05 Legendary. So that and Impact Legendary, Hyperion, Torg. Uh, whatever you click on here doesn't really matter, except for this with the elemental resistance. Those are all just random things that change the way it looks, uh, so they don't really do anything. You generally can't do anything on these four, uh, so just don't even worry about those. And then always make sure you don't forget the material, because that'll make it look all weird. Uh, you'll still be able to use it, but it'll just look like this gray and purple checkerboard pattern on your shield. Um, bank, same thing, you can just add item or add weapon, put whatever you want in the bank. Uh, missions are still being updated, you really can't do anything with the mission. Uh, you can't like edit your progress in a mission or skip it. I mean, you might be able to, but it's pretty much nonsense. You just like when there's a mission available it just says the mission name and then mission names down here and then random numbers in these boxes and it's it's odd and then to save you just X out and you can hit save now let me show you what happens when you save this uh, it doesn't save it over that you click save and it saves another copy so then you have to delete that and then rename that to zero dot save so just delete all of this stuff and delete your previous game save but I like my previous game save so I'm gonna leave it um, now modded profile uh, the golden keys you'll generally have some numbers here just add another one that's named like the source make it a number that's not in sources yet and then however many keys you need to be up to 255 like since I've already used some of them I can just change that to 255 and that'll be all good. Um, and 255 is the maximum number of gold keys you can have, so... Uh, badass tokens. This is an interesting system they have going on here. Uh, it's... There's a certain point above this number, I think it's 43 million, that you can't go over. Um, Sometimes it works, but most of the time it just won't even load once you try to run Borderlands 2. Um, let me show you what happens. Go to grenade damage, make that 1,000, enter. It'll give you this thing that says badass rank should be higher, but was, but was, was capped to some reasonable value. I don't know why it says was twice. That must just be a typo but so you can't go above this number otherwise it'll mess you up except for one of my game saves I've got uh, the profile 1000 and the profile 5000 the difference in those is profile 1000 has a 1000 uh, gun damage multiplier and profile 5000 has a 5000 gun damage multiplier same stats everywhere except for the gun damage I don't know why that one generally tends to work but sometimes it doesn't so you can download both if you have trouble with profile 5000 just switch over to profile 1000 it ought to work just fine um, customizations giant pain in the ass uh, I went through and clicked all of them for you uh, if you download my game save but if you don't then you have to go through and click all 4,003 of these and lots and lots of these. Don't know why these weren't clicked. I guess those won't be in my game save, but that's not hard to fix if you want to do this yourself. But um, Claptrap Stash, just the same as uh, adding guns and items to your game saves. Just add weapon and edit it just like you would on the other things. So, that's pretty much that on this. Um, same thing when you want to save, just save. It'll save new copy and change it to profile.bin. Uh, so, yeah.
that's how you use Border Tool 2. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, maybe subscribe. That'd be great. Um, but hopefully I'll have more videos in the future of this updated. Watch some of my other videos. I've got some other cool stuff. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.